Am I the asshole for not making my daughter apologize for traumatizing her cousin? We went to my parents' place for lunch during the bank holiday weekend. My sister's daughter Ella has unfortunately been fighting a rare form of cancer for the past two years. She's lost her hair and wears a wig, and is never seen without it. Since her cancer diagnosis Ella has unfortunately become quite nasty. I understand she's scared and probably very angry about how her life has turned out, but she absolutely terrorizes her cousins, particularly my seven-year-old, Haley. We should have put a stop to this a long time ago, but it's hard to tell off a sick child and not look like the bad guy. The kids were playing outside when we heard someone crying. Ella had dared Haley to lick a muddy puddle, and gotten the rest of the kids to demand she did it. They were all egging her on and Ella had my sister's phone and was filming it. When the adults came outside I took Haley and made clear she didn't have to do anything, and that this game stopped immediately. Ella still had the phone and was filming us, and said maybe we'll make her do it later. Haley was crying her eyes out. She let go of me, ran up to Ella, pulled her wig off and threw it into the puddle. Ella started screaming and ran to her parents. She was hyperventilating and screaming for her parents to stop everyone looking at her. They took Ella into a room to calm her down, but my parents went mad at Haley, saying taking Ella's wig off was a disgusting thing to do. They said Haley has no idea what Ella has to face every day my dad has also survived cancer so this is quite personal to him. Ella's parents came out and said their daughter doesn't want anyone to see her. They said Ella is traumatized by everyone seeing her without her hair. My sister called Haley a horrible child and that only an evil person would think about taking a little girl with cancer's wig. I defended Haley and said that Ella and the others were clearly bullying and tormenting her, but my sister said it's not her or her daughter's problem if Haley can't handle girly teasing. My parents and my sister Bill agreed that they want a written apology from Haley to Ella, one which shows that she understands what a cruel thing she did. I said that was not going to happen. We left with Haley, but I'm still seething. I'm truly sorry that Ella is having to go through cancer. But she was tormenting my daughter, ganging up on her and filming the whole thing. Haley obviously shouldn't have taken the wig, but she was very upset and being bullied. Nadar. My sister said it's not her or her daughter's problem if Haley can't handle girly teasing. I don't know what kind of friends your sister had growing up, but in my experience it was the bullies doing shit like trying to make another kid lick a puddle. This is not girly teasing and I'm guessing I know where the attitude towards others comes from. Not the asshole. She was threatening to force a child who is younger than her into doing something as disgusting as that while also constantly acting out towards her for no reason. It was completely fair that your daughter did that to her. Karma's a bitch. Not the asshole it sounds like your daughter was being bullied and harassed by her cousin and her friends. Ella's behavior is unacceptable, and it's understandable that Haley would react in such a way after being subjected to such cruelty. It's also not fair for your family to demand an apology from Haley when she was clearly the victim in this situation. It's important to address the bullying behavior of Ella and her friends rather than blaming the victim. I hope that your family can work towards a solution that ensures the safety and well-being of all the children involved. Not the asshole. Cancer is not an excuse for not parenting. Wait. Doesn't she have this all recorded? Demand a copy of the video and have everyone watch it together. You can use the excuse that you want to make sure you are disciplining your daughter for the correct things for the apology letter. This way you'll have all the adults see the trauma your daughter has been dealing with. Oh, and then refuse to have your daughter do the letter and demand one of your own. Not the asshole. This was all caught on camera and they're saying your kid, who was being bullied and forced into doing something she didn't want to do, is the one at fault. Cut contact and give the exact reasoning why you cut contact because if they're going to do this level of BS, they're only going to make it so that if the cousin survives, she thinks she deserves anything she wants and will continue hurting your kid.
Let's talk about the fact this kid wanted to post your daughter's humiliation online. Natar. No contact. No excuses, no explanations, no replies. Only an evil person would think about excusing tormenting a child as curly teasing. Edit not the asshole. Not the asshole, tell the adults that you would apologize if all of them film themselves licking a muddy puddle and posting the video on social media. Not the asshole. While I agree that it wasn't nice of Haley to grab the wig, she's a child who was defending herself. It seems like your parents and Ella's parents are letting her get away with everything because she has cancer, which is not healthy. Children who grow up without boundaries or consequences for their actions usually grow into entitled, selfish adults. Just because she has cancer, that doesn't mean she shouldn't be held responsible when misbehaving. Not the asshole. This wasn't girly teasing. That was happily trying to force intimidate another child to do something humiliating and gross. What's particularly creepy is that she brought out a phone to film it. And had gotten the other kids involved. I can understand wanting to give your sick child everything you can to make the process easier but unfortunately in this case, your sister has raised a cruel and toxic bully. Edit I knew licking drinking from a puddle wasn't healthy but not just how dangerous it could be. Not the asshole for not making her apologize but to if you don't stop making Haley hang out with her cousin who bullies her. You admit she's been terrorizing Haley for a while now, why the hell have you been repeatedly subjecting your daughter to this? It's time to protect your daughter. Not the asshole as a sister of a cancer victim, her parents are too lenient all BC she has cancer that is not doing Ella any good. Her harassing Haley was traumatizing as well BC she was filming it. To me there is no need to apologize for traumatizing it wouldn't have happened in the first place if Ella would have known how to behave. So it is actually your sister and her HB who are in the wrong. Oh poor bully got to eat shit for once. So sorry. Sick or not has nothing to do with this. Not the asshole. ESH. Y'all are terrible parents. Your sister is raising a bully with the cancer excuse. You're letting your kid be bullied with the cancer excuse. You all need to do better by your kids. Not the asshole but your whole family is, especially the adults. It's true that Haley wouldn't understand what Ella is going through, but she doesn't have to she's only seven. What's disgusting is your parents turning a blind eye to Ella's cruel behavior, and turning against Haley when she rightfully yes, rightfully retaliated. Not the asshole she was a seven year old getting bullied, she didn't react in the best of ways so maybe she should apologize. But, the parents of the bully should suggest to apologize first since the bully was overwhelmingly at fault. I was going with NTA but then I started wondering why you are taking your child to hang out with another child that you already know is a bully. You know she terrorizes your daughter but you still were happy to have your daughter be with her, unsupervised? Ella got what she deserved a bully with cancer is still a bully but Haley should never have been put in that position when you already know what Ella is like. So given that, and the predictable but toxic response of the other adults involved, ESH. Editor Tio Sire prompted me to clarify. ESH except poor Haley of course. Not the asshole. Your daughter could die from parasites in the muddy puddle from bacteria from animal feces to if she accidentally licks a slug or snail. There's a guy in Australia who was in a 10-year coma then died from a dare to eat a snail which gave him lung worm. Not the asshole. Your daughter is definitely not the one in the wrong here. I don't doubt Ella was traumatized because everyone saw her without her hair but actions have consequences unfortunately. Hopefully Ella beats the cancer but when she does she's still going to be a bully. Then what? Will her mother continue making excuses for her for the rest of her life because she's a cancer survivor? Will her mother have to do a full 180 and actually start parenting this little terror? Yes,h. but the kids. The adults are letting down all the children and I include you in this. You have absolutely failed your daughter by not protecting her earlier in this. The same as your sister is letting down both her niece and her daughter by allowing her daughter to carry on this behavior. 
I don't know how so many adults in this situation are expecting a seven-year-old to understand cancer and also accept cruel bullying because of it. I'm not gonna lie, Ella had it coming. Her suffering doesn't mean that she is free to be cruel to others, or be free of the consequences of that. She needs to understand sooner rather than later that she can't treat people like this. It doesn't sound like that's gonna happen, with all the enabling in her life. Having a cancer isn't an excuse for bullying Natar and that kid got to learn how to behave. X200B. Your dad using the cancer card isn't good either, I got it too and would never accept those kind of behavior she is a little bully. Not the asshole, I understand why your parents and sister Bill are siding with Ella. She must be traumatized, but Ella needed to be taught a lesson, have your family sit down and have a talk about Ella's behavior. Please don't cave and enable this behavior. I mean. Sh, I'm sorry, but this is ridiculous on every account. You all failed as parents, guardians and guides. Ella's parents suck, Ella sucks and sure, cancer is shit I understand that better than anyone else with my father having had cancer, my grandma, my mom and myself with a high percentage of getting cancer too somewhere in the future. I would seriously think about staying in contact with Ella's parents for a while and this just needs a family intervention. All of the adults were the are here. Two wrongs don't make a right. Also, it's not okay what the other child did. Both should have been made to apologize to each other.